all elements inserted for design parameterization are not automatically plotted. However, dimensions are an exception. You can change the settings so that parameterization elements are plotted. This is the subject of this class. Let's use this model to demonstrate the concept in this class. As you already know, it is possible to make a great deal of changes on an element from the properties palette. It is the same thing for parameterized dimensions. See, when you access the parameterized dimension properties, the constraint form field will be displayed. Dynamic is the default setting for this style. After this style is defined, the dimensions will remain constant no matter what zoom setting is. Text positioning is automatic and style dimensioning changes are not permissible. These dimensions are not plotted. When you change the style to annotational, there are new options displayed on the properties palette. After configuring dimension settings, you can change its layer. Apply a dimensioning style. Define if an automated scale factor will be applied or not, and also if this dimension will be plotted. For example, you can configure many other items, such as the arrow style. Even after changing the dimensional display, it will continue to be parameterized. You can change the element dimension at any time by double-clicking it. The association link to dimensions will also remain unchanged. After finishing the dimensional settings, we can adjust the project layout and apply the scale factor to fit the viewport. See how it is done. So now, the dimensions have been configured for plotting, without affecting the previously applied parameterization definitions. In this class, you have learned how to adjust design parameterized dimensions, apply style, define display scale factors and layer. After making these adjustments, then they will be properly plotted.